Anthony Hartwig here with a Crestview volleyball player profile joining us from Crestview, Natalie Blakeman. Natalie, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Thank you for having me. So one of the first things I want to ask you, this Crestview volleyball team is so dominant. They've been dominant for the last five years, winning their fifth straight district championship. You've been on the ride the whole time. What's it been like for you to just be a part of this whole kind of wave of domination from Crestview Volleyball and to see your teammates and your team succeed and, and see the whole kind of development of, of what it's been like? Um, it's been a really amazing experience. Um, these This group of girls has been um, a really good group to do this with, and they, we just continue to keep pushing each other and to see each other just succeed and just push each other has been something really uh, that I appreciate being a part of. A lot of people ask me what makes Crestview different. Like, what makes this Crestview program able to continue to be successful? From your perspective, as being a part of that team and being in the practices, being in the locker room, what's it been like? What's the difference maker for for Crestview volleyball? Um, for our team, definitely uh, our team chemistry. We are a family on and off the court. Uh, we're best friends. Like, we all get along. Like, there's nothing that is going to pull us apart from each other, and we're just always we're always stuck together. So I think that keeps us so strong. What are some of the great things that this team does to build that chemistry that you talk about? What are some of your favorite chemistry bonding activities with this team? Um, we do a lot of uh, team bonding things. So we just get together a lot. Um, we're all, So we're always at school together too. So we always just see each other. We're always talking. Um, and we just share a great connection with each other. This team is obviously full of amazing, talented players. When you get on the floor – and you get to share the floor with such amazing talent. Does that ever, like, do you ever stop and just realize, like, I'm on the floor with Abby M. She's going to pit. I'm on the floor with Grace Hour, who's, like, the the queen of stack keepers in, in volleyball at Crestview. Do you ever just kind of pinch yourself that you get to share the floor with those guys when you get on the when you get on the floor yourself? I most definitely do. Every time I get on there and I just think about it, that I am playing with Abby M. and Grace Hour. Do you want to do you want to commit? It's just it blows my mind every time, and I'm so grateful to have this opportunity with them. And you've worked for this opportunity. I mean, you do you earn your spot on the Crestview varsity team. That is something that we know from covering Crestview since the beginning. They're one of our first four schools. We've been with this volleyball program since the start of YSN. When you kind of were given the opportunity to be more and more on the floor this year, when that when that mean to you? Because I know you worked hard to get there. Um, it was definitely something that uh, I really cherished and that I was very grateful to have the opportunity to play more. Um, I just love being able to share the time with my closest friends and uh, getting to play with Grace and Emily and Katie and Julia one last time. Um, but it was just really nice to have the opportunity to play with them and continue growing with them. If you go to a Crestview volleyball game during the regular season, you'll see the JV is really good too. There's a lot of talent on this roster from JV to varsity, which means I'm sure the competition inside the squad to get on that varsity floor is very high. Uh, what was it like all summer just trying to work to, to that point to be able to get this opportunity? Um, it was hard. Um, we had a couple new girls come, so they were always just pushing us and testing us to our limits to see what we could do. Um, so I think having them – and the other girls on the varsity team just always pushing each other to work harder and to really earn your spot. Um, definitely played a part of that. You talked about the team chemistry earlier. How much does the fact that you guys are so close help the leaders be able to lead? Like, you know, if, if Grace is telling you, hey, you need to be in this spot because of how much you're close you are to her and how much of a family you guys are, how much does that help you trust the leaders of this team on the floor? Um, our team chemistry uh, just really pushes each other, and you not know, that I can have Grace behind my back or Abby or any other player on the court. It just allows me to trust them, and that I know that they will get me through anything that I'm down, whether it's in school or in on the court. I know that they're going to push me through it, and that they always have my back. All right, so when you talk about um, things that you wanted to accomplish this year, personal goals that you set for yourself, what are some things that you had on that checklist that you wanted to accomplish this year? Um, definitely um, getting to that varsity level and getting to play more, um, getting just to experience like the uh, different levels of intensity, and just to, con to continue pushing myself uh, to get better just in personal skills. 
All right, let's talk about things that you're looking forward to in the future, obviously. This season not over yet. You still have the regionals to go on to with Barberton. But you start to look at next year and you start to look at things that you want to do in your future. What what things come to mind? Um, for sports-wise, I just really hope that next year we still come out with a strong and uh, powerful team and that we can keep pushing forward with that. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just hope for great success in the future with our volleyball team. Next year, you're going to be asked to be a much bigger leader. There's going to be a lot of leadership responsibilities put on your shoulders. What have you taken from this year's leaders that makes you confident that you're going to be able to do that next year? Um, just their confidence in me to just be a team player. Um, I think that them always being positive and supportive of me, I think, has pushed me to realize that I can be confident in myself and to be that role model that the team needs. You are coached by one of the most highly respected coaches in the area when it comes to volleyball and Alicia Hour, who has now won eight district championships under under her belt as a coach at Crestview. Take us through what it's like being coached by her and, and what it's been like for you to, to be under Coach Hour. Um, it's been a really great experience. Um, high school volleyball has been the only sport that I've played, so having her to coach me through it and to teach me um, has been something that I really cherish. And to have her as such many records that she said to be the one that coached me has been really, um, really grateful for that. What is the one skill or part of your game that you think she has helped you grow the most in? Um, defensively, she is pushing me on every practice. She's always telling me new things to, uh, to do to push myself. And, um, yeah. What is one thing that people don't get to see – about her when they're just watching the games? Because that's all we get to see. We get to see Coach Howard during the games. You get to spend a lot more time with her than we do. What's something that people that uh, that don't get to see all that don't know about her that you think they should? Um, she's a really fun person in practice. We're always laughing. She's always laughing with us, making jokes. Um, and the relationship between her and her daughters is really special, and we get to see that during practices and in the locker room. And just the connection that they share and they share with all of us is just brings light into the room. What was it like senior night? You get to, you know, see Coach Hour take off the coach mask a little bit and be the mom during senior night and, and the walk race across the floor. What was that like for you guys just watching that? Um, it was really emotional. I know me and a bunch of the other girls, we all cried watching them come out. Um, it was really special to us. We were all super close. So getting them to watching them walk across one last time as seniors, it was just a really emotional and touching feeling. This week, you know, you're getting ready for regionals. It's another trip to Barberton. What has this week been like for this team? What what have practices been like? What have the conversations been like getting ready for the regional semifinals on Thursday? Um, practice has been intense. We've been talking a lot and scouting, watching videos, um, working really hard to just push ourselves and each other to get to the level that we can be to beat Smithville on Thursday. All right, let's get to know you a little bit off the floor. First, student athlete, we have to start with student and, and talk about your, your classroom. What are some of your favorite subjects at Crestview? Um, right now, I'm really enjoying my pre -cal class that I have with a bunch of the other girls. Um, it's really, really hard and pushing myself uh, academically. And uh, yeah, and I'm enjoying chemistry as well. So from chemistry to pre-calc, I'm guessing that you're more of a math person. You like math a little bit more than the other subjects, right? I do, yes. What's your least favorite? What's the one that you have to work the hardest at to get good grades in? Um, history, definitely. It's not my favorite. Never has been. I just don't care for it as much. Um, what's the hardest kind of project or assignment that you think you've had so far in your high school career? Um, right now, I am working on a um, capstone project for my YSU class that has definitely pushed me um, to really think and put a lot of effort into it. So that's definitely my hardest thing right now. When you're doing schoolwork, are you someone that likes to get things done really, really early? Or are you one of the girls that, that or, or guys or, or people, I should say, that procrastinates a little bit, you know, be honest, a little bit and says, hey, I still got some time to get this done? Um, definitely both. I definitely think I'm more of a uh, procrastinator, um, but I do like to get stuff done if I have like plans for something and then I mm -hmm. try to get it done, push myself to be just finished and just have time to relax. But I do procrastinate more often. 
when you think of schoolwork that is that one that the, the, the you're most likely to procrastinate is it like the english papers is it like maybe just the one-off homework assignments what are the ones that like you think you try to put off uh, doing as as far as uh, definitely in my writing papers. I have one every week due for a YSU class that's due on a Friday. And every week I push it off and I start it on Friday night after practice when it's due at 11.59. That's my worst thing to do. You know, a lot of people would throw shade at procrastinators, but I was always someone that got the most work done when the pressure was on. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, no shade there at all. Let's talk about your game day preparation. Are you superstitious? you have any routines that you stick to on game days? Um, not really. Uh, before the game, I like to jam out to some music just to lighten the mood and just be ready for it and have a game face ready. But other than that, nothing much. Jam out to music, which makes me think of this Crestview volleyball team, probably has the most unique playlist that I've ever seen out of a sports team. Uh, what is it about the Hokey Pokey that gets you guys so hyped up? <laughs> I could not tell you. I love that song personally. Um, I think it's just a fun way for us to connect and just dance together. Uh, that just brings so much happiness to us. But yeah. I think Mr. B is just hammering it into your head yeah, uh, yeah. During, yeah. during the home games. What is what is your favorite song in the Mr. B playlist? Because he's got a unique one. Uh, definitely either the Hokey Pokey or the Chicken Dance. Those are yeah. the two, definitely. Um, there were a lot of theme nights uh, for Crestview Volleyball, their home games, you know, fans bringing themes to the table. What was your favorite theme of the season? Uh, probably the neon game against Austin Town Fitch. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, seeing all the dads dress up um, and all of us girls, we just always try our best to show support of each other and the team. So just seeing each other dress up and give it all was, was really cool. We're going over so many memories that you have with this team, you know, the theme nights, the – the hokey pokies before the game. What are some of your favorite memories that you've made with this team so far in your career? Um, definitely uh, our district final games a couple days ago. That's one of the best memories that I have with them, just getting to cheer with them and just putting, getting all of our effort and energy into the game. Just really, really uh, was a good memory for me, and I have always, always remember that. We definitely don't want to put uh, anything before it happens, but what would a regional uh, semifinal win, the first time you guys win in regional semifinals as a unit yourselves, what would that mean to you? Uh, that would be absolutely amazing if we could get past this next game. Um, I've only been a part of the varsity team for two district final games, and we haven't made it past that. So to be able to win this game this week, I think would be a huge step, stepping stone for us and for me personally. All right, Natalie, what we want to do before we let you go is we want to give you the chance to thank your support staff, the people that are behind you, the people that have your back. We want to give you as much time as you want to send the shout-outs out and uh, thank the people who you think deserve it the most at the end of this interview. All right. Uh, I just want to thank my parents for always supporting me and driving me uh, to school and to practices. Uh, I just want to thank the coaches for always pushing me to be my greatest and to always just help me out of any troubles. Um Definitely my friends on and off the court. They've always been there for me, pushing me. And uh, all my friends, especially on the bench, they've been through much so much with me, and they're always there to uh, push me through. And we're always, so, we're always laughing together and being supportive, and I just really, really appreciate all those people. All right, Natalie, we want to thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. We wish you the best of luck the rest of the season. We hope it goes long. We hope you win regionals, of course. And we can't wait to talk to you in real soon. All right. Thank you so much.